Welcome to Dude RV. If you've not, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down there. I do some interesting things in the RV lifestyle. Today, we are going to assemble the Aquos 8.8 .8 pontoon boat. My new fishing vessel. Uh, I'm gonna do an assembly. Of, I did the unpacking and create, or, or in, I did the first assembly video, but that was a lot, there was a little more work involved than there normally is in putting the little boat together. So today I'm going to do uh, just the assembly and I'll accelerate that timeline. It only takes me about 15 minutes to put the whole thing together and most of that is inflating the pontoons. I've also made some modifications or a modification and created a transport system. So I'm gonna be showing that after I get the, the, the boat assembled, put together, and then we're gonna go do a water trial on, on this new modification. So let's get to it.
All right, so there you have it. That's the boat as it came. Now, we're gonna get into the Dude RV modifications. The, the things that I, in my, my first deployment of the, the craft, I realized I, I need some, uh, some other things. Let me, let me show you what I've come up with. Oh yeah, I forgot, one more thing. The emergency paddle. So um, on the first deployment, I already had the, the emergency paddle. It, it came with a stand-up paddle, but it was for short people, and so I went and found one that's adjustable for tall people. Just saying, I'm, I'm taller than the average person. I had an issue with where to keep stuff, uh, bottles of water, that, that was a problem. I found this really cool cup holder, uh, doubles as a rod holder also. That's on, on Amazon and I'll add that to my influencer page. That was $20. Uh, it gets hot if you're sitting out in the sun. While I was looking for that, I ran across that and I said, oh, that man, that's, that's really cool. Uh, it's a it works on anything So you get multiple positions you can clamp it to your to your lawn chair and just give you a little bit of shade Power now the boat did come with a transom But that require if I put a motor on it even if it's a trolling motor I've got to register it and pay for that and then that that adds the extra the weight for the trolling motor and the battery uh, and the battery takes up deck space. Well, I, I, I don't plan on going very far, so I thought what I need is just a better way to go instead of the paddle board, which when you paddle it does that, because uh, there's no skag. I already had these. Now, if, if you're new to the channel, three years ago, four years ago, I, I actually built a skiff, a wooden boat, uh, but unfortunately the, the termites ate it, but I had put oars on it as well and I have I still have those the termites didn't eat the oars So I, I thought well, I'll just I'll employ those and I, I grabbed some scrap wood and I Did have to buy those oar locks to make it work I hope it works <laughs> We're gonna go put it in the water since I'm here at the lake, and we're, we're gonna give it a test and see how that plays out. Now, I'm not, I don't need the umbrella today, but I wanted to show you the umbrella. Now, all of this will be on the Amazon, my Amazon page, and I'll, I'll put together a page just for the boat, the Aquos boat. That way you're not having to dig, look through all of that different stuff. Because uh, it took me a while to find the ice chest as well as the the cup holder I Got one more surprise in store for you. So 
let me reset the camera and we're going to talk about transporting the aquos boot got to give it a new name y'all help me out with a name as RVers, we're always looking for things that'll serve multiple purposes uh, double duty you know if something can do a couple of different jobs that's, that's an asset if if it can only do one and it takes up a lot of space that's not much of an asset so when i was thinking about moving this on my when i was at cooper lake state park i was trying to figure out well how can i get this down to the water now i can throw it i can put it in the back of the truck it, it will fit in there no problem that it is camp transportable so when i am set up I can, if I don't have water access immediately at camp, I can throw it in the back of the truck. But if there's not any place for me to drive down to the water, I gotta drag it. Now it's got some heavy rubber drag strips on the bottom, but if you gotta go a ways, that's, that's really unwor doesn't work too well. Well, I've got the cart slash wagon that I built I thought, well, I just need to figure out how to how to use that instead of buying an, an additional component or making an additional component for the boat. So I came up with a solution. And here's how it works. We don't need no stinking umbrella. We're ready to transport. So that's, that's how I'm going to be transporting the Aquos boot. Man, I got, y'all got to help me figure out a, a new a name for the new vessel. Aquos is a brand name. It's no longer the brand name. Dude boot. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're going to take it down to the water, and we're going we're gonna to see how the oars work.
I think it's time to go back to camp and have an adult beverage. So if you've enjoyed my little Aquos video, hey, I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, please remember to click on the subscribe button and the bell as well. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. Y'all come back now, you hear?